Hey, what is going on the YouTube? This is Robert and today I am bringing you to the Palace Summer range for 2022. Now I should have probably covered this a little bit sooner because I have seen a couple of the pieces that people have been talking about but I haven't clicked onto the list directly because I did want to cover it before the drop. Picking the day before wasn't really or isn't really the best thing to do but regardless it's all good because we can have Palace and then Supreme later on uh, with the drop that is occurring today so yeah let's just get straight into this uh one of the pieces is going to be an accessory that i'm sort of looking forward to because i'm almost like building a collection of them now uh or two isn't really a massive collection but yeah uh regardless let's get straight into this list okay so obviously we're on palace uh it took me quite a few minutes i'll be honest to get actually set up onto palace because i had like auto hdr on on my monitor which basically meant it looked like a flashbang had just gone off on everything uh, which is great. I didn't know that was the reason why when I've been trying to record that that's been like the, the, the problem. So yeah, uh, let's get into the range anyway or the summer range and go through and see if there are any pieces that specifically, you know, catch my eye or attention. And yeah, as per norm, let me know down below what was your favourite piece from this range or favourite pieces in general or what you are hoping to go for, what collaborations you are hoping that they might release or anything in relation to that basically so let's get straight into this uh, I don't know whether I should like zoom in and look like row by row or whether I should just pick out the pieces that sort of like you know okay so on the top line city's piece is grabbing that piece is grabbing my attention I'm intrigued by the name of that one the shell pullover as well that uh, that's just going to be standard, isn't it? The snake shirt, the china plate. Okay, so we'll scroll down to here. Let's take a look at a couple of the pieces then. So this is going to be the city's jackyard jacket. I was going to say jacket. Jacket. Um, okay, I don't actually know why I picked this. I was expecting it to be graphics. I believe it's actually uh, just text saying different cities. Okay, different to what I was expecting. The patches cotton piece though is obviously going to be a load of different patches uh, of designs. Nothing on the back. That's a bold uh, strategy to say the least to have nothing on the back. I do like the P and the Palace London there and the layout of the patches. I do think it looks quite clean for a, uh, a bomber jacket. Don't know about the decision of nothing on the back. You could have just put a triferg on the back. I know trifergs are very overplayed nowadays but that could have been like the finishing touch to it. I know that a lot of people have been like, oh no, you don't need that. But personally for me, it just seems like that would have been the complete thing. But regardless, that's that. Uh, following on from that, we have the toweling jacket. Is it like actual towel? Palace special equipment. I do like the sort of graphic that they've gone for, for the like aviation wings almost. But that looks like it's almost like actual uh, I can't think of the name of actual towel uh, or what a towel is made out of. My mind's gone blank, that's great. But that is what it looks like. Oh, my mind is so blank right now. Anyway, let's move on to the shell uh, pullover jacket. I like that. Simple, clean. You've got a magnet for a C, which is cool. Probably going to be on a T or something I'd expect or something else. Nice and simple. I like that colorway. That's a nice colorway as well, but... This bright one is nice in the orange, but I feel like navy and yellow just works so much better. So, yeah. Uh, other than that, we've got the Palazzo uh, knit. Yeah. Simple. I prefer this colorway over the other one, most definitely. Then we've got, actually, no. Uh, I, oh, no, I regret clicking on that snake shirt. It's a literal snake. I do not like snakes. <laughs> I do not like snakes at all, so I'm good. Uh, the China Plate shirt sort of grabbed my attention as well, just to look at. Yeah, I prefer it in the blue colorway, so. Out of those first pieces, uh, what grabs my eye or attention, probably the shell pullover. Uh, no, no to that one. Uh, I'd say the China Plate and the Patches uh, Cotton Bomber jacket as well. So those three, uh, I do like, so. Yeah, uh, following on from that, let's see if anything else stands out. We'll look at the vest. Joggers, I know a lot of people do go for palace joggers, so I'll just open one or two of them up or pants up. We've got swim shorts as well. We've got a lot of shorts, actually. Let's open a couple of the shorts up. Let's go for a couple of them. Uh, other than that, hoodies. Open up the English rows. So we've got vest. 
they're holding a shopping bag. It looks like it. Okay. It's very simple in the end. Uh, joggers. Glow in the dark or 3M. Okay. That's a different concept. It's cool. Not really my type, but that's cool. Sweatpant are quite... Yeah, just a sweatpant. Okay, there's nothing special about them. Uh, we can move on to the short being the save short. That's quite cool. Cowboy on the back. That's very, uh, what is it, Marlboro? Is that how you pronounce it? I probably butchered it. That's very much so that colorway. Yeah, all of them are cool. They're all clean. Uh, we've got swim short in lilac, blue, and black. Solid, probably. See, the thing with palaces, I swear that some of their shorts just have stupid high retails. I hope that these don't, because it'd be cool if they didn't. But yeah, that's like the Jamaican flag, isn't it? Or like it's the Jamaican colorways, I'm quite certain. Um, Palace International. Are we going for like nations? Got me jamming on a boat. Like, okay, no. I don't think that's, oh, it could be a nations like flag colors, but I don't know. That, Colorway's quite cool though. Yeah, I, I think they're cool for, say, say they they say they're sail shorts. I wish they were swim shorts, but yeah, they're probably for sailing in the end. Like that's the intention, but whether or not people are actually gonna do that, I don't know. Uh, moving on to a hoodie, we've got the English Rose hoodie. I think I gave the air freshener or the car freshener to my brother in the end, but it's cool that they're bringing it back. I like that they've actually got at least one part of the text behind the rose. I wish they'd done it for a bit more of it, but it's all good. Colorways are really cool and vivid and out there, which I like. So yeah, I prefer the pink though. I think the pink's nice and light as well. It's not like a strong pink, so yeah. Right, other than that, that grabbed my attention, so did this piece. We then have, I'll open that up, that up. I have to open that up to take a look at it. Uh, other than that, I'll take a look at that piece. We've then got a couple of the hats. That one, definitely. That one. Go okay, that one. That and that. Then we'll scroll down, okay. So the shopping experience. So it's the exact same as the other thing. It's just on a crew neck. I mean, mm, this is the only colorway that I like, navy, move on. Uh, we've got the mixed media crew neck. Yeah, a lot of graphics, a lot of different things. It's cool, it's different, that's a nice blue. Yeah, it's a nice piece. Uh, we've got the Palaska uh, T. I like this graphic. Ooh, on purple. Blue, it looks nice. Black, it looks okay. Pink, eh, purple, it's really clean on. That's a nice piece. We've then got the Saves t-shirt. Okay, no. I know that other people will see it. That is, yeah. It's also got a pocket. In my mind, that would sell in the white colorway. Gray mole. Okay, no, no, I'm not, I'm not even going to say it because it's obvious. It's so obvious if they've named one of them specifically that. It's so obvious what the graphic was called. Like, yeah. Uh, we've then got the vest t-shirt, which I just had to take a look at. <laughs> That's... Why? That violet's really nice, but why? Such a weird piece to do. Uh, we've got the, uh, the Valley of the Shadows. That's a cool concept. Is it the same? Yeah, it's the same, like... Mm. I wish that this was different on like each one that would have been cool but it's to spell the P for palace so I understand it but yeah it's a different concept and it's cool it works with some of them that have black to it I don't think uh, the colorway like this that has gray is the best for it but the, the ones other ones except for black are fine for that that is really cool red black no white colorway is, is the one that's 100% the one. That's the best one, definitely. Other than that, we've then got the uh, Pals Pal hat, which just grabbed my attention because it looked, looked cool. It's nice that they're changing the color of what they're wearing on each one, but yeah. Oh no, I did not realize that was a studded piece. Sorry, no. Uh, the China Plate Bucket hat. It's okay. Uh, I still think that blue is the best. And the Safari Tig hat. A word I'll probably never repeat in my life. Is it one colorway? Two colorways, black. No, I think sand looks best for something like this, definitely. I can see this actually being a piece that people would want, to be honest, because it is quite cool. 
but yeah. Uh, regardless, let's get down to the final pieces. The visor also seemed quite cool, but yeah. So we've got slides, we've got some shoes or a boat shoe, we've got a backpack, shopping bag, a wash bag, that's quite cool, a beach towel, pillow, a mug, Rubik's Cube was the one I had my eye out for, sticker pack, and the boards to finish. So, slides, one colorway, two colorways. That colorway you'll probably see like the dirt on, but you could always add them both realistically when they drop. You can always add like more than one, so just go for the same thing. In the end, just add them both. You know, it's, yeah, just go same size, both of them. Uh, I'd say this colorway is better though, in navy, personally. We've then got the boat shoe. One colorway, two colorways. That looks like more of a formal sort of colorway for like when you're going out in the afternoon, maybe like morning, afternoon time. It's more of that like, you know, casual color. This color looks like more of an evening tone to wear, but yeah, I don't know if people are actually going to do that in the end, but yeah. Uh, we've got the wash bag, which seems quite cool, just to have, uh, probably going to have a bit of a dumb retail, I feel, but yeah, it's, it's a cool piece, I think. We've then got the beach towel. Beach towels and me, you know, we have a bit of a bad history. I've still got my Supreme one, so if this retail is fair, I, I'd probably end up going for it because it is really cool. And you've got the reversal, so you could just switch it around to the other side and have the underside to the graphic showing, so yeah. The pillow, I mean they're trying to compete with Supreme with the pillows. So obviously you can just take it off uh, and probably put it around any pillow because that's what it looks like, it just comes off. Hopefully it's a fraction of the price of the Supreme one because it is quite cool. I'd get that and add it to like my ones or my one <laughs> that I've got. Uh, but yeah, the mug, different colorways, single colorway. I mean, it's cool at the end of the day. It's, it's obvious what it is, so yeah. Uh, the Rubik's Cube, I'd add this to like my Kith one. I'd hope that this is larger than the Kith one because the Kith one is like, like the whole world in my hand scene from Rocket Man, you know, it's just like that tiny <laughs> thing. So hopefully this is actually like a full size Rubik's Cube. Sticker pack, they're a bit weak, to be honest, the stickers for this season. That one's cool and the shadow one's cool, but they're a bit weak overall. Uh, and then we have the boards to take a look at. That's nice. That's a nice graphic. Not my sort of thing. Looks like a tree trunk with a face. So it looks like it's smiling. Got a mummy holding on to the palace logo, which is cool. Looks like a garden. And again, another face on like a rock or something. Don't know what that is. Again, another rock face. They've got a nose there, the mouth, the eyes. They go for a lot of like face looks. Again, they go for the same thing, eyes, nose. Like, <laughs> they've picked them out specifically. Got like a pixel looking one. I can't make a face out of that. That's a cool graphic. I can make a face out of that easily. They're going for a lot of like garden related. Yeah, again, eyes, mouth. It's <laughs> and again, that's very obvious. There's the one that I was waiting for. That's cool. Are there other colorways? That's the colorway. That is the colorway. We've got the chicken. That's all right. Different colorways as well. And that's gonna cover it, I believe. Okay, so yeah, um, it's not the most insane range, I'll be honest. There are definitely some pieces that I am a fan of. If I was to pick some out, I'd definitely say that the patches piece, the shell piece, I do like the china plate piece. Uh, moving down from that, I like the saves shorts, the sail short, and uh, the uh, domino print swim short. Uh, other than that, onto the hoodies, I do think that the rose hood is nice. The shopping experience is a bit simple, but the one next to it, I do think is a clean piece. I didn't look at the animals polo, but that's probably gonna be cool. Uh, the Palaska, I do think, the Saves t-shirt as well. Uh, other than that, I do think that the Valley of the Shadow, that just reminds, the song comes into my head instantly when I read that. Um, other than that, Tri Visions is probably gonna be a cool one, but I've looked through enough. Uh, the Safari hat, uh, on that sort of side to it. I would then say that the Howdy cap is going to be the other like good one as an overall. There are probably others that might do well, like a basic chord one probably do well, or this basically a new era or the surf one, but I think that the, the Safari and that one are the highlights. Uh, China bucket hat's okay, but yeah. Uh, onto the accessories and the latter part, the slides, uh, the towel, the pillow, and the Rubik's Cube. For the sort of lower end, I'd say the mug, 
boat shoe are actually quite cool and the wash bag grabbed my attention on the boards there are quite a few boards that are cool but yeah hopefully they don't release too much this week i mean max merch is probably gonna have the thing out quite soon but yeah i'm hoping that there's not a lot that i'm after uh, the hydro flask is also cool but i've already got like a drinking sort of thing ready so yeah but that's going to cover this video anyway as per norm let me know your thoughts and opinions down below that is about it um if there's no music on the background to this video i apologize i'm still trying to sort things out so yeah the outro will probably just be the thing with the music unfortunately but yeah uh, anyway, that is going to cover it for me. Thank you for watching. I hope that you have a good day. I'll see you later on for Supreme. And yeah, that's about it. Peace.